people ain't think they like me. Yo, am I white? No, 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 baby, so so much don't miss some fights. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is first unique character in a string. So we are given a string S and we have to find out the first non-repeating character in it and return its index. If there is no non-repeating character, which means that all the characters in the given string are unique, we need to return minus one as the output. As you can see, the return type is an integer. So in this example, we are given a string called lead code. L is the first non-repeating character because there are no more L's in the rest of the string. So we return zero as the output because the index position of L is zero. Coming to the second example, love lead code is the string. Here L is not the first non-repeating character because there is an L here. So the next character O is also repeating which is not unique. V is the first non-repeating character in the string because in the rest of the string there is no V. So we return the index of V which is 2. So 2 is the output. In this case as you can see all the characters present in the string are not uh, unique. So we return minus 1 as the output. So for us to solve this problem we are going to create a hash map and in the keys place we are going to place the characters present in the string and in the values place we are going to store the frequency of each character. Then we are going to iterate through the values of the map and we're going to check where the first one occurs. So whichever character has one as its value and it appears first in the map, its index position, that is the iterator we're going to use to loop through the string will be returned as the output. Else we're going to return minus one as the output. So the first step was to fill the hash map. So the hash map will contain keys and values, right? The keys will be the character and the value will be the frequency of that character. So to fill the hash map, we have to iterate through the string from left to right. So we'll, so we'll access each character at a time and increment its frequency whenever it's occurring. So finally, at the end of the iteration, we'll get the hash map with the key and value pairs. So as you can see, there are many occurrences of characters which are having frequency equal to 1. So there are four characters inside this example which have frequency equal to 1 and we know that inside the hash map the order of insertion is not maintained. So we won't know which character among these four is occurring first. For that we have to iterate through the string again from left to right to get the first occurring character. So in this case we have to iterate from L to E. First we'll check for L. We'll get its frequency and check if it is equal to 1. L's frequency is not equal to 1. So it is not a unique element. We'll go to the next element which is O. O's frequency is also not equal to 1. So that cannot be the answer. Next we'll go to V. We'll get to know that V's frequency is equal to 1. So that is the first non-repeating element. So V will be the output for this question. So as I've said, let us create a hash map where the key is going to be the character and the value is going to be an integer. I'm going to name it map. Now let's iterate through the input string using a for loop. We'll iterate till the end of the string as using the length method. Now let us store the character in each iteration in a character variable ch. So char ch as dot char at of i. So now we're going to insert the elements into the hash map. As you know that hash map does not contain duplicate values. So we can use this fact and insert uh, the frequency of those characters in the values place. So if, if the map contains, map contains key. Since the key here is a character, right? Key here is a character. So we're going to check if this character in each iteration is present inside the map. So if that character is already present inside the map, so we're going to increment the frequency by one. So first let's put the character ch in the key place. And to get the value, that is the frequency, I'm going to use the get method on the map and get the value of the character. I'm going to increase the value by one. So each time that particular character occurs, we're going to increment the frequency by one. And coming to the else block, which means that the character is not present inside the map. So once we encounter a distinct character, we're going to simply put the character inside the map using the put method and set its value as 1. So this is the first time that the character will be appearing and from the next time whenever you find the character we are going to increment its frequency by 1. So using this for loop we have filled the hash map. Now we have to check the occurrence of 1 in the values place inside the map. 
So whichever character has the value equal to 1, we're going to return its index as the output. For that, we're iterating to the input string again from left to right. So int i equal to 0, i is less than or equal to s dot length i plus plus. Now let's get the frequency of that character, that is the value. So if map dot get, so from the map, we're getting the value of ch. If that value is equal to 1, we're going to return the index of uh, that character. So i is the iterator, so it will start from 0th index position in the map. So it will start from here, it will go till end of the string. Now from the map, we have the frequency of each character, right? So from the map, we're going to check if the frequency of this character is equal to 1. If it is equal to 1, we're going to return the index position of this character. That is why we're returning 1 here. And now outside the for loop, you can return minus 1, which means that there are no characters in the string which have value equal to 1. Now let's run the code. So this character we have to declare again. So we'll copy this and place it inside the for loop. Let's run the code again. There you have it. 0 is the expected output and that is the output which our code is giving. Let's submit the code. There you have it. Our solution has been accepted. That's it guys. That's the end of the program. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, I think they like me. Yo, am I white? Oh, no, 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 baby. Smoke so much dope. Some fights. Yeah, nigga.